Green energy is a must in Abu Dhabi, and it was a requirement of the project to power the desalination plants using solar energy. There is no lack of sunlight in Abu Dhabi, and solar power overcomes the usually high cost of energy for operating the plant. But importantly, it has no environmental impact. Harnessing the energy of the sun makes it possible to supply the power needed to run the desalination plants in each of the designated protected areas, thereby providing a stable supply of clean drinking water for the Arabian oryx and other animals, plus water to irrigate the areas where they live. This pioneering project was awarded to Hitachi Limited Infrastructure Systems Company in Dubai. They were contracted to design and construct 15 solar-powered water desalination plants located in desert regions of Abu Dhabi. Hitachi is a well-known company in Abu Dhabi and it works in many uh, fields in Abu Dhabi. Uh, when we started this project, it had been invited like any other competitors and it ha they have been compared to the project and the selection was very transparent and they have been pre-qualified and then uh, based on the technical proposal which they did submit it to us, they have been awarded this project. The main criteria which we used to evaluate the, all the bidders was the first one is the qualification or the uh, uh, qualification of the company itself. So the second is the experience in the same field and the manpower of this company. And the third one is the uh, 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 material specification which they will use and their uh, process and the procedure to, uh, for the installation and after service. Uh, Hitachi already provided us with a very good proposal including all these items uh, at the beginning of the project. I'm Koyano. Uh, I'm in charge of the water treatment uh, department in Hitachi Middle East office. Our office is uh, based on Dubai and now 40 staffs are working in Dubai. The Dubai office uh, has covered uh, not only UAE, uh, Saudi, Qatar, Egypt, and Iraq. Uh, that's uh, countries we covered. Uh, we we are, uh, uh, covered the water treatment uh, business, so the uh, drinking water and uh, domestic sewage water treatment. That, uh, that kind of the water treatment we cover. Our, our uh, organization role is uh, to plan the, such kind of the project, uh, project and the execution, and uh, plus operation and maintenance we are doing. Then 2008, we uh, participated in this tender project. Then we, we, we won. The, this project and uh, 2009 started uh, this execution. Of course, the power to uh, operate the RO unit, this is solar, solar power. Uh, 2009, we, uh, we started the first unit, of the first lot of the uh, solar RO unit. And uh, af after that, we installed the remaining 40 numbers RO, solar RO unit. And we continue the three years operation and maintenance. Of course, including the monitoring of the, uh, the drinking condition and the water condition. The idea of the project is to construct a water channel filled with fresh water and let the water circulate in the channel. To avoid problem related to water stagnation, uh, the water source is originally from uh, groundwater, drilled for this purpose. Uh, salinity ranges from a brackish to saline with an upper limit of 35,000 ppm. In order to produce fresh water to fill the channel, a desalination unit has been designed using the reverse osmosis technology, as well as an evaporation pond included in the design to get rid of the brine reject without having any environmental impacts taking in the consideration of the rate of evaporation and required surfaces area. 
as those sites are remotely distributed where there's no source of power to run the whole system, solar power technology was the best solution to make power available for all project units and facilities, again, with no environmental impact. Each plant will be identically in size and have a desalination capacity of four cubic meter of water per hour. To be operated remotely, these plants will harvest solar energy from panels spanning 300 square meters, enough to generate 45 kilowatt on renewable electricity per hour. Let's take a look at one of these Hitachi solar-powered water desalination plants. Firstly, we have to journey deep into the desert region of Abu Dhabi to get to the remote location of the plant, which is far from normal human contact. This is a protected area where the Arabian oryx will be released to thrive and flourish in its natural habitat. As we approach, you can see how remote and how barren it is. That will all change with the introduction of this solar-powered water desalination plant. The plant is totally self-contained and is maintained by a technician who visits regularly to monitor the operation. Each plant is an identical size and capacity. They will harvest solar energy by photovoltaic panels spanning 300 square meters, enough to generate 45 kilowatts of electricity per hour. The saline water is pumped from deep beneath the desert using a well water pump. It is directed into a storage tank to await processing. The water is then pumped into the desalination plant where it is treated using a process called reverse osmosis or RO. Reverse osmosis is a process in which pressure is applied to force water containing salt and other impurities across a membrane to purify it at a molecular level. The membranes have 0.0001 micron pores that allow only water molecules to pass through. The process produces four cubic meters of clean drinking water per hour. The whole process is controlled and monitored using advanced Hitachi electronic equipment, which has a traffic light control system to help simplify monitoring and use. The whole process, including the well water pump, is powered by solar energy. There is a bank of backup batteries, which are also charged by solar power. They will take over in the event that the solar power reduces below a certain level, due to the sunlight disappearing in a sandstorm or other such occurrences. This will allow the system to power down properly and await the sun to reappear. Once the saline water has been processed into drinking water, it is pumped into a large white holding tank. From there it is used to fill an open channel 1 meter wide and 600 meters long. This will be used as a drinking source by animals. After processing there is some salty water left, called brine. This is pumped to an evaporation pond, where it evaporates leaving just salt, which can be collected and used for other purposes. The drinking water is also used to irrigate new large plantations of native trees, shrubs and grasses. This will create a green area which will provide food and shade for the Arabian oryx and other animals and birds, particularly the Hubara bustard, which is also being reintroduced to the protected areas. These Hitachi solar-powered water desalination plants are self-contained and have no environmental impact. They are the perfect solution. For the last two years my team has been managing the program and we, not so much the construction but the, in the water delivery side of the program. So um, the water has been uh, pumped up out of the ground, desalinated and then at the outlet point that's when my team takes over. With our solar desalination plants we've um, constructed a series of water trough systems that also have irrigation systems as well. So. Uh, we bring the animals into a particular area, they can drink water from the irrigation from the water troughs and then they can get food from, we supplement the feeding for a while but obviously we, we'd like to reduce the supplementary feeding and, and make the whole process as sustainable as possible. But the big need for animals also in, in the middle of the desert is uh, trees and shade. So we have a, quite a complex irrigation system and, and we're growing native species of trees like the gaff tree to provide 
shade for the animals. Without that shade, you can give them as much water as you like and they'll, they'll die. So it's a three phase kind of uh, look at, at our reintroduction programs and it's water, feed and shade.